Kyle Pitts, the number four overall pick from last year's draft, the highest drafted tight end in NFL history. I'm sure and I'm assuming you all know how good he is and you know about all of his abilities. So that's not what we're here to talk about today. I want to talk about what the hell are the Falcons doing? Kyle Pitts has nine receptions, just over 100 yards in his first two games. I'm not saying that's terrible or anything, but it's pretty mediocre numbers. And this is someone who is ranked the fourth best tight end in the league coming into the season. Now, is this coming from a salty fantasy owner who has Pitts? Okay, motivation for videos can come from everywhere, but once I got into the film, I was just very confused as to what the Falcons were doing. So in today's video, we're going to look at some film, see how the Falcons are using pits and getting the absolute minimum out of their insanely generationally talented guy. And then we're going to look at some film of Travis Kelsey and Darren Waller, how their teams use them as the staple of their offense, and give the Falcons my personal advice as why I think they could possibly do. So let's get right into it. The first thing I need to say is Hayden Hurst should be in there at all times. I really think Pitts shouldn't be seen as a tight end that can split out sometimes they should see him as someone who can line up anywhere but also play tight end the first play we need to look at is a really good indicator of a lot of things i saw it's third and ten against the eagles he's lined up as the h back at the bottom of the screen released for an eight yard stick route and kind of matt ryan's check down they picked up eight yards and have to either punt or go for it now there are so many problems with this and this is what i kept seeing over and over and over one he isn't the primary read two he isn't stretching or even threatening the defense in any way they're not using his ability abilities to make the defense cover him like he was anyone else three he's lined up it very awkwardly for an obvious passing down and gets a slow release off the ball here's another play from the eagles game where he's the most inside receiver just runs a three yard spot route there's nothing wrong with this except it's just so boring it's bland anyone could be running this and that's what exactly what he's doing i wish i could show you this aren't the best examples but this is all the falcons are doing with them it's just kind of a plug and play with any other tight end that they would have on their team but he's not like everyone else he can do things only a handful of receivers in the league can do because of his height and his athletic gift set and they only managed to get the ball four times to him this game another thing after watching his first full two games is they almost never utilize him in motion now i'm no all nfl offensive coordinator but i do know that andy reed and john gruden are some of the best in the business and i do study them and how they attack their defenses with kelsey and waller look at these plays for waller this is what it looks like to get your superstars the ball and run the offense through the tight end this is a creative play action tight end screen not only is it his first read, which Pitts rarely was, but Waller is the play here. Just get your best player the ball and great things will happen. Or this play here, splitting Waller out wide, linebacker fouls, so it's obviously man coverage. They could put it six points on the board before they even snap the ball. So isolating like this creates amazing one-on-one -on -one matchups. Or if you make the defense switch into a zone, you can run plays that target two high safety zones. It's really a win-win. Now let's look at Kelsey and going back to the motion thing. Look how many times he's in motion pre-snap. If it's across the field, a short motion, outside to in, inside to out, this not only gives him a free release, but when he goes in motion, the presence that he is takes the eyes of all the linebackers and the secondary. The next thing we need to see is how many times Kelsey puts so much pressure on the middle of the field. He's a vertical threat. He loves to sit down in the open space. He can break a defender down either direction when they're in man. So targeting the middle of the field puts so much pressure on the defense. Now let's look at a play where Kyle Pitts does this and he shows he has very high football IQ. He has a seam route on this play, but as soon as he sees that nobody puts a jam on him, he knows he's obviously going to be walking into the soft spot of the zone coverage that they're running. He whips his head around, gets ready for the ball because in that window, Matt Ryan knows as well, a veteran quarterback, it's not going to be open any later. So I love this. It showed a lot of high football IQ from Kyle Pitts. Now back to another play from Kelsey. I would love to see Kyle Pitts run a lot more plays like this. This is a short motion, a long drag route across the middle of the field. This puts eyes on him pre-snap during the play and as he's crossing everyone. Now, should the Falcons use pits like Waller or Kelsey or like how they used Julio's in years past? The answer is yes. He should be the most targeted person on this team and I think Calvin Ridley is the perfect complimentary piece to him. They pair so well I just can't imagine putting a game plan together trying to defend them when they're the same on the side of the field and once they start getting more creative because he's a guy who can get the screens. He should have the option routes. He should be isolated the wide side of the field more often. He should be put in motion way more often. They should put him all over the field and never give the defense an idea of where he's going to be lining up any given play. He runs a 4-4. He's a fantastic jump ball receiver. He didn't have a single drop in his last year in Florida. He has glue for hands and it allows him to snag passes like he did in this game. And so all in all, am I being a salty fantasy owner 
Well, yes, but I don't think that's it. I think there is really something to be said when you have a superstar on your team. I think you can and should build the offense around them. I would love to see the Falcons just become way less vanilla with Pitts and stop treating him like every other tight end in the league and on the roster. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of Kyle Pitts so far? I know it's crazy. He is so immensely talented. I think this that he's labeled a tight end is kind of throwing the Falcons for a loop because I think he should be playing everywhere on the field. They have done a few times where they've lined him out, out by himself and it had a lot of success, but then I see them in the next play go right back to having him at tight end and I'm just so confused. But what do you think this Falcons should try to do? Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know the business. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace!